one of the biggest faults that I see with a lot of people when they're chipping and pitching the ball is they're always trying to accelerate the hands too much. So the problem with that is when you accelerate the hands, the grip end of the club is, is moving forward very quickly. But as you can see, as I push the grip end of the club forward, the club head's moving very slowly. And that's how the classic double hit works. You know, you see a lot of players doing that, you know, even very good level of players doing that because they've got the yips. And what's happening is they're accelerating the grip end of the club that fast, the club head is traveling really slowly. So when they do eventually make contact with the ball at that low speed and then release, they catch the ball on the way through. So what we don't want when we're chipping and pitching is we don't want to be pushing that handle too much because it's going to slow that club head down and deceleration is one of the biggest faults in, in the short game for a lot of players. Although the arms are accelerating, it's actually causing the club to decelerate, as you can see. So the complete opposite end of the scale of that would be, if I, if I rather than me pushing the grip forwards, I'm going to push it backwards. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to get the club swinging back and forth like this. Okay. And then what I'll do first of all is push the grip forwards to begin with. And then what you'll see is that club head slow down, it stops swinging. Okay, now if we do the same again, swing it back and forth, this time I'm going to pull the grip backwards. Okay, and we can see how the club accelerates more as they go through. Now I'm not saying that you want to pull the grip backwards when, when you're coming down towards the golf ball, but certainly your hands have got to be slowing down. And I see a lot of players, you know, when they're not chipping very well, they tend to get that ball much further back in the stance, get their hands even further forward. And then the problem with this, it's just creating, you know, much more of a steeper angle of attack on the ball. The room for error is very tiny because you created that much steeper angle of attack by leaning the shaft forward, getting the hands forward. So you've got to be very precise if you're going to be chipping that way. Uh, ideally, you know, we, we don't want to be in that position, but you want the hands back a little bit. And then as you come in towards the golf ball, you want the hands almost slowing down so the the club head can release then. And you can see how it's just cut in the grass there, as opposed to if I was back here, it's almost sort of digging in a bit. So you're gonna find yourself duffing it, you know, certainly thinning it because you've got the hands too far forward. So what you wanna do with a swing trainer really is rather than, you know, trying to push the grip through there like that, just feel the shaft sort of load and unload a little bit like this. Okay, now that club head's accelerating nicely back and through, it's also, squaring up as I'm, as I'm doing that, whereas this is just, you know, keeping the face open, I'm gonna push it off to the right. So just give it a little bit of a waggle, almost feel as though you're keeping the grip end of the club nice and centered through the swing. Okay, we don't want it moving around too much. So try and almost keep it opposite your belt buckle. But yeah, feel that shaft load up and unload. And then just add that little bit of body rotation to it. But keep an eye on the grip end of the club here. You can see how it's really still pointing towards the center of my body. I'm not trying to go this way with it. And then that unloading of the shaft will just send the ball on its way. So you can see as it comes through again, the grip sort of pointing towards my center. And then the ball's gone off on the right starting line. So I feel that little bit of load and unload. Like I say, you can see how the hands are unhinging, you know, releasing the club head. It almost looks like the, the hands are stopping as they get to the impact position as opposed to the hands speeding up, which would slow the club down and cause all sorts of problems. So a little bit of load and unload. I like to feel a bit of weight on my front foot and then just load it up and then unload on the way through. So we don't need to be here, you know, we don't need this big long follow through. And quite often what you're gonna see Certainly on the TV, especially when they're playing at, you know, greenside bunker or lob shot or something like that, you know, you don't see this massive extension on the way through. You actually see when they're sort of coming out of the bunker there, the, the hands and arms are really stopping, which is, which is forcing then the club head to, to release. And then quite often you see this sort of finish here where they're almost pulling the hands and arms into the body as they go through or pulling the club up or pulling the handle up. And what that's doing by pulling the handle up, it's, it's making the club head swing down and release. So then they can use the bounce on the, on the bottom of the club here to 
sort of skid across the ground or or bounce through the sand there like that. So you got to release it. You know, you got to stop trying to get the hands too far in front. You're going to get a lot of fins, fats. So really getting the the swing trainer and get get that feeling of the shaft loading back and unloading on the way through, and then just adding that little bit of body rotation is really the best way of, of using this tool. You know, great strike. I'm I'm cutting a lot of grass here, which is good. I've got a nice shallow angle of attack. I've got a better chance of hitting it. So even my bad shot, you know, will still go really well. And that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to get, you know, the misses a little bit better. Whereas if I'm playing, you know, off my back foot here, although I can do that, and a lot of people can, you have to be very precise, and it's not always going to work out very well. So load it and unload it. Keep the grip pretty centered when you do that, and then just start rotating and then just let it unload into the ball and there we go beautiful shot so that's a little bit on the on the short game with the g4 swing trainer and then keep posted and i'll get a few more videos up and show you a bit more on on pitching and greenside bunker shots thanks for watching